benefit of his role in the aftermath of Governor Hearst's sudden resignation, I want to make a promise to all Sidonians. I'm committed to making Sidonia a safe and prosperous place to live and work. If you have any concerns, the office of the governor is willing to listen. Thank you for your patience and support during this period of transition. Oh my gosh, how cool was that? Holy crap, I just started getting ready to record. Anyway, when we had last left the Spacefarer, they had done a whole bunch of cool stuff around Sidonia, like speaking with the various miners who needed help, and also the local psychologist who needed a bunch of paperwork dealt with. And then they traveled out and found the mysterious heart of Mars, and it was just a rock. <laughs> now, however, it was time to continue with more business on Sidonia, sort of. It was business on Sidonia that pertained to places not on Sidonia. That said, maybe checking out the Mars Mech Factory nearby. That sounded like a good idea. This is Starfield. Welcome back. Zoop, zoop, zoop. Yeah. Holy shit, I just booed up the game. I was getting ready to do the opening and then um, the new governor came on. Huh. How cool is that? All right. I'll have to try to remember to keep that in the opening somehow. Okay. Let's get on out of here. You know what? I think we sh we should go over to um what do you call it? The mech factory. I'm very much into the idea of that. Okay. Let's head to our ship. There we are. Whew. Always a satisfying moment to return to your ship. And then, Mars Mech Factory. It's taunted us for this long. It's time to finally take a look. Tidal locked planets and moons always keep the same side to their star or planet. Huh. Good to go for landing. I bet they, they actually have that. I could 100% see them actually effectively doing that and mimicking that in the game. Which is so wild to me. <laughs> Because, as cool as- look, there's Vasco again. <laughs> as cool as that is, and sounds, most people aren't gonna notice or give a shit. <laughs> right? Okay, let us take a quick nap here in case there's like enemies or some shit that we need to contend with. Get a little rested XP. You know? There we are. Anything else here we should look at? Nah, we're fine. Okay, down we go, and over this way. What's on your mind? Uh, I don't know. Nothing really right now. Actually, should I do some research real quick? Do I have anything that needs researching? I'm not sure if I do. Where do I even perform research on this floor now? Oh, here it is. Oh shit, I just took a fucking foam cup. Alright. No research in progress. It's all been completed already. I need more perk points. I need more level up points. Well, look, hey, I can throw some in here. Okay. Good. Oh yeah, look, plenty. Okay, let's take a Neurojack real quick or whatever it's called. There we go. Gosh, the sound of the computer, like, spinning down sounded so real. I almost thought, like, I was about to have hard drive failure in real life. Because <laughs> I do have still one hard disk drive on my computer that I use for, like, video storage and whatnot. Right. There we go. Zero wire. Throw that in there. Great. Let's get some iridium in there. Tungsten. Beautiful. Great. Internal mods, one. Magazine and battery mods, let's try that. Oh, I don't have any titanium, do I have any adhesive now? Toss that in there, though. Got some overflow. Wow, I got so much overflow just completed. Holy shit, just from the lead. Wow, that's why you take the Neurojack, baby. And then over here. Let's throw that in. Well, nothing can be done. 
What can you do? Okay. And then, you know what? Let's see our, our weapons, right? Let's take a peek at them real fast. See if we can't tune them up real quick. Let's see. Spacesuit, industrial. Oh, sorry, Barrett. Sorry. Sorry, Barrett. Oh, sorry, Barrett! <laughs> okay. There we go. Can we futz around with this? Hmm. Internal. Ah, high powered. Increases the damage done. Okay. Tactical magazine. Can I actually put anything else in here? Oh, I can only put in a large magazine. Well. Hmm. Which only gives you a bonus of five. Yeah, we'll skip out on that. Anything else here? Optics? Reflex sight? Meh. Muzzle break? What does that do for us? Increases long range accuracy and stability at the cost of hip fire accuracy, which I like hip fire accuracy though. Especially on a shotgun. But I can't apply a choke because I ain't got the shit for it. I could throw a stock on- oh, it's already got the stock. Okay, fuck off. Jeez. How about- how about our laser pistol here? Is there some way I can increase its damage? Or something? Because it's- it's kind of pitiful. No, I need internal mods too. Fucking A. Okay. Hmm. I love the idea of it having electromagnetic beams. Okay, okay. I could put a focal lens on there. Vastly increase the accuracy. My god, this little lens weighs over one unit. Holy shit, look at that. It's 240 mass, then it's 390. My god, that little thing is dense as hell. To me. Huh. Okay. I'm tempted to, like, pull off the, the sight, but I don't think it can have Sorry. only iron sights. Thinking of something else. Uh, yes, Captain. Huh. I mean, do I really want that? I'd rather more damage, you know? Yeah, like the focus nozzle. Wow, it actually increases headshot damage, too. Huh. Still need muzzle mods, too? Fucking A. Okay, fuck it. Guess we aren't modding anything. Shit, fuck me, huh? Alright, let's get out of here. Sorry, Barrett. Sorry. You've got something for me? I, I don't, Sarah. I actually do not. In fact, I'm going the wrong way. I don't remember how to get off my own damn ship. Okay. Oh god, how do I? <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Mars Mech Factory. Maybe there'll be like hostile robots here or something. Greetings, Remnants Captain. of the war. You know, as cool as all these like... Space powers and shit have been that we've been picking up. They're neat, you know, sure, they're neat. Right, I can like do this. But what if... How about just the ability... The fuck is that noise? How about the ability to just like radio Barrett or Sarah or even Vasco to do a flyby like blasting with our spaceship? You know? <laughs> how fucking rad would that be? Or even someone else who's not in our ship. You know? Have, have like Vladimir fly by do like a bombing run on enemies or something, have it get a cooldown or whatever. Wow, look at this. Huh. Okay. Oh look, yeah, it's part of a hab, isn't it? Wow, it's all blown out. Is this shit active? Oh, 
Oh, there's spacers here. Okay. Let's see. What should we use? Let's use this pistol arrow. Ew, the corrosive stuff looks pretty fucking gnarly. Like, I'm fine. It's okay in Fallout, but <laughs> once again, Starfield's more grounded vibe makes things a little bit more wild when you do them, right? Seeing people dissolve ahead of you and shit in Fallout, it's not that bad, you know? It's, it's like, ha, you know, people dying in gruesome ways. Bloody mess perk, you know, it's just how it is. But out here? In the star field, it's a little fucking jarring to see someone just melt in front of you. <laughs> okay. Oh dear lord, where are these turrets? Always worth checking. Never know what you might find in their pockets. I don't like how much this shit is buzzing around, you know? Yeah, that is a turret over there. I don't think I can make that shot. I can. Hey, there you go. Oh shit. Spacer communication too. And I love the noise of these turrets. Okay. There's a cartridge. A manifold. Nah, that's heavy as shit. Okay. Huh. You know what? Let's get our... You know what? What's actually kind of useful here? The ability to see through fucking walls. Yeah. Let's put this shit on number nine instead of the amp, right? Okay. Even if I can't, like, kill them through walls, being able to just, like, highlight enemies like that, holy shit, it's like nonstop thermals. It vastly improves my ability to have, like, target acquisition. Gotcha. Is that Andresia? I think so. Any other bozos out here? I think we nailed them all. Oh, is this a computer controlling the terminals? A bunch of ammo. Explosives as well. Oh, zero wire. We need some. Eh, no turrets. Okay. It's been handled. Let's see. What is our trauma pack on again? Equal sign? Hmm. Which should be... Okay. This? Yeah, I think so. Great. Hmm. All right. Oh, here's another turret stand. Or zero wire. Useful. Oh, there's more. Where are they at? Oh. See? Underrated. It's better than you would think. A disassembler coachman. Eh, I'll take the money. Or the <laughs> weightless stuff. Okay. Let's head down here. There we go. 
look, there's some, looks like mechs back there. I'm getting knifed. Damn it! He's picking us all. There we go. Uh oh. Let's head over here. Take care of this real quick. get in here shit inaccessible see I almost feel like I should be able to blow these up <laughs> okay was oh, there someone else out here your abilities are really amazing. surprise asshole In that <laughs> you know look if I can't get in there who's flying it whoa there they go <laughs> right that's got to be kind of weird that's got to be kind of weird for the people still in there piloting it right we just immediately roll in there use a fucking like foose blast knock everybody down clear them out with a few shotgun shells whoever's in the fucking cockpit has got to be like shaking in their boots they got to be shitting their pants they'd be like Holy fuck, just pretend like no one else is in here. <laughs> we're not here. They don't need to... They think that we're all dead. Just just radio silence. <laughs> just as soon as you leave, they're just like, Fucking floor it, floor it! <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Let's see. What have we got here? Good. Got some more useful ammo. Oh, this is locked. Okay. Sure. Easy does it. Let's flick on our lights here. Hey, can these can these be blown up? Okay, I didn't know what these were, but they look kind of like bombs. But you know, upon closer inspection. These are bionicle parts. <laughs> All right, man, what happened to this? Huh? Wow. Look at these fucking things. Look at the models on them. Huh? That's wild. Huh. Yeah, look, it's got like... I mean, this ain't rust, is it? It's like they've all been gunked up. Hmm. Yeah. Weird. Okay, reactive gauge, it's common. We've seen those. Whoa, a Legio. Sensor chip, deep mining space helmet. It's ablative, hacker. Oh, sensor chip is decent. It said it's quite bad. The defenses on it are kind of awful. Which, fair enough, we're literally on Mars. Okay. Explosives, more ammo, money, adachrome, another manifold. Sure.
Yeah, these things look very impressive. I wonder I if you will ever fight one. Behind. Okay, let's see here. Inventory. Oh, I guess these spacer communications are ones that we've seen before, which is why it hasn't appeared in new items. A cornered, calibrated solstice. Eh. I mean, it's kind of valuable. Okay. Sure. Jeez, what a electric buzz. I guess that's how it goes when you have shit powered by, like, solar and wind. You know? There's a chance that you'll very easily come across a place that's still running. I'm assuming that's what this is powered by. I wonder if there's anything worth looking at here now. I feel like we've seen the gist of it. Oh, is that an interior? Or no, I think it's what used to be one. Explosives, modified maelstrom. 6.5, boom pop orange. Yeah. The terror brew cups persist. There we are. You know before when we were trying to open these? I forget, uh, it's been a long time since someone wrote in about this. You know how it is, I'm recording ahead. But, uh, apparently you don't have to futz around with the door on it. You just pick up the whole fucking thing. <laughs> you can just shake it out of there. Like some kind of a ridiculous cartoon character. Just shake out whatever you want. Whole lot of shaking going on. Let's see over this way. Are these lootable? These look like... No. Okay. Huh. Like, I would be surprised if there wasn't at some point, like, a, a mech that was still active somewhere, you know? Like, if not now, then in a DLC or whatever, right? Eon, or oh, Reuben. Yeah, I'm gonna pass on that. Got some money. Heart Plus. Anything else good here? Nah, not really. Okay. What does your Natural. Scanner reveal? Structure. Natural. Structure. Okay. Nothing I'm terribly interested in peeking at. Utility jacket wear. More explosives. Red Harvest Rye. Cheddar snack crackers? Fuck yes! Oh, okay. <laughs> Damn you, Centauri Mills. Okay. Anything else over here? Who doesn't like a good cheddar snack cracker? Right? I mean, I guess maybe if you're like vegan or whatever, but I'm sure there's vegan alternatives that taste quite similar. Okay. I think we've looked to the best of our ability. Let's double check, make sure. Yeah, explored. Excellent. Okay. Now, should I deal with this Rivka situation? Huh. You know what? Let's do it. Let's fucking do it. There we go. Show on map. Oh, shit. Yeah, I've got a fucking bounty, don't I? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Is that going to be a problem? Oh. I've got a cornered, modified, calibrated Grendel. Meh. I'll take the other shit, though. Okay. You know what? Fuck it. Let's see if it is a problem. <laughs> Are we going to get bounty hunters or something? I don't know. 
Let's see. Show on map. Great. Set course. We'll do a jump. And we'll land on Neon. We'll take care of what business Welcome we already have on Neon. Please maintain your current course while we scan your ship. That's all we need. Enjoy Neon. Good. And then... Oh my god, it's kind of wild that how good our ship is at turning. I almost... I almost don't like it. It almost feels wrong to me how good it is at turning. The security skill allows improved terminals and electronic locks to be hacked. All right. The effort to make this place livable is astounding. There's no end to what can be accomplished when there are credits to be made. Have a good one. Hmm. I still don't know where our shiplord is. Don't worry, your ship's in good hands. Thank you. How odd. Okay, let's sell off some shit here. There we go. Oh, what are you all selling? Anything good? Let's get rid of this first, huh? There we are. Throwables, get rid of these, don't need them. Miscellaneous, oh, the foam cup that I picked. Oh, the Heart of Mars! Holy shit, it's heavy as hell. Oh my god, okay. Let's see, over here, Peacekeeper, right. I'm tempted to get rid of it, you know? Okay. Let's see, we should be able to stash stuff in our ship from here, shouldn't we? Someone wrote in about this as well. Because I would not be opposed to getting rid of this. Huh. Ship? Cargo hold? Inventory? Miscellaneous? Hey, there we go. Yeah, we can store from here. Holy shit. Wow. Well, that's amazing. Pop those in there. How about some aid? Should we throw some aid in there? We've got these amps. We should really be trying to use them, huh? What do we not have a binding for? Six? Yeah. We could do that. Okay, let's put an amp on six. There we go. Good. Oh, are you the... No, you're not. Relax. Your ride is safe with us. Huh. How mysterious. Alright, let's get back into the town. Security? Cares far more about what you th the effort oh. to make this place livable is astounding. There's no end to what can be accomplished when there are credits to be made. Get that cleared as soon as possible if you know what's good for you. Oh shit. Okay. Is there somewhere in Neon we can clear the bounty? You would have to assume so, in Neon of all places. Okay, here we are. Ah, Neon. Instant sensory overload. Alright. Oh, hey, is this a bounty clear machine? Yeah. The Trackers Alliance Self Bounty Clearance Kiosk. If you have a bounty with anyone in the settled systems, don't worry. For a small convenience fee, we can clear that up for you. Which faction would you like us to contact on your behalf? I'm surprised it's like the Trackers Alliance that does this and not like 
<laughs> there should be a lawyer, right? There should be like a a guild of lawyers or whatever. <laughs> there we go. Let's pay it. Why not? Okay. We'll be here when you're ready. The hotel bowline. Sleep. Hey. They do say the hardest part is showing up. And I've done that. Okay. What's your name? Or what's your deal? You have a name. Jeez. I don't know if I can do this. Maybe I should just go back to my room. What are you trying to do? It sounds like you're having trouble with something. Then I humbly suggest you grow a pair. As a general rule, you should never rush into things. Sounds like you're having trouble with something. Uh, you might say I'm having trouble enjoying the local customs. And what's the point of coming uh, here? Doing if, drugs? If I'm gonna stay cooped up in my hotel. Believe it or not, I, I'm actually here for my bachelor party. Uh, my fiance wants me to be more adventurous. So I thought, what better place than Neon? But I thought the adventure would just happen by default. I, I didn't think I'd have to manufacture it on my own. Is there anything specific you want to try? I assume you chose Neon for a reason. If you're in Neon for your bachelor party, where are your friends? What did your fiancé say to you exactly? Are you staying at the Volai Hotel? How do you like it? You staying here? I, I like that it's not a crate, and, and I haven't felt anything crawling on me when I sleep, so I feel like they do a good job keeping it clean. What did your fiancé say to you exactly? Oh, it's just the offhand comment here and there, how I, I never take risks or, or, or don't like adventure. She hasn't said I'm boring, and I don't, I don't think I am, but looking at my past, I, I can't exactly prove that. This is my way of finding out. Wow, y'all are gonna get married? Okay. okay. <laughs> is there anything specific you want to try? I assume you chose Neon for a reason. True. The, the, the city is known for Aurora, so I figured I should try that. But I talked with Dr. Manning about how it works, and now I'm skeptical. No, wait, not skeptical? Terrified. Extrovert. Sounds like Dr. Manning doesn't want you to have a good time. <laughs> yeah, come on, just get a little junk flush and you're fine. <gasps> Aurora is fine in small doses, just be cautious. The doctor is right, stay away from that poison. You aren't cut out for this. Head back to your hotel room and read a book. <laughs> read a fucking book. <laughs> Maybe you should try something safer, like joining a gang. Dr. Manning just doesn't want you to have a good time. I definitely feel like he came at me with an agenda. But I don't care about my health, safety, or well-being. <laughs> I only care about my marriage. And if being a drug-addled degenerate is what my baby wants, that's what she'll get. Hell yeah. I think I want to start with something less damaging to my central nervous system. <laughs> Supposedly, Madame Sauvage sells a drink called Velocity. That's almost like a drug. Okay, we can wake There's her, work also some our way local up. There's swill people swear by called Blend over at Le Grand's Liquors. What, what, what do you think? Yeah, we need to get you trying every drug possible, right? That way we can find out which one you like the most. <laughs> Blend sounds like it'd be a good introduction. I would go with Velocity to start. <laughs> Why not both? Are you trying to get me killed? That seems like a really bad idea. I, I, I'm trying to ease into this. Okay, fine. Blend sounds like it'd be a good introduction. Okay, then we'll go with Blend. I'm, I'm a bit worried what's in the mix. But that's exactly the kind of cowardice I'm, I'm trying to get over. I'll try that first. Yeah, stop this shit and do but drugs. I need to uh, prepare myself for the, for the ritual. But hey... Next time you come back to Neon, do me a favor and check in on me. <laughs> Make sure I'm not dead. If you're in Neon for your bachelor party, where are your friends, by the way? I've been asking my therapist the same question for years. But he hasn't given me an answer I like yet. <laughs> <laughs> Man. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Well, have fun with the drugs. If you're worried about taking the drugs, why don't you take some drugs to take the edge off before you take drugs? Welcome to the Hotel Voli. 
All right, Minerva Clement. Welcome to the Hotel Voli. Are you here to rent a room? I think you'll be pleasantly surprised that our luxury accommodations are more than reasonably priced. Uh, do you have any high-ranking <laughs> clientele at the moment? I don't know if you're allowed to ask this. Okay, what sort of luxury accommodations do you have? We have finely appointed spacious suites, all featuring fantastic amenities. Best of all, each room is security protected with an encrypted password locked door. So, you can rest easy at night. Okay, well, I'm not concerned about the price. It's neon. There's always a catch. Well, that's a pleasant surprise. We need to, we need to, like, tout our shit, you know? We need to talk ourselves up if we want to get access to this CEO. I'm not concerned about the price. Well, you should be, because I can guarantee you're getting gouged all over this city. My hotel is completely free from administrative influence, so you can rest assured that you'll be actually getting the best value for your credits. Wow, hell yeah. Everybody else on the entire planet screws you, but you... Y'all are the one place that's different. <laughs> Alright, I didn't think such a business existed on this world. Well, you're very lucky then. That must have taken a miracle to arrange. What do you mean, administrative influence? What well, almost every business in Neon is subject to ridiculous fees and taxes. They claim that it's because Neon occupies such a prime location, having close proximity to Ryujin and all of the other mega corporations. But I think you and I both know that's not true at all. Who is collecting taxes? The city? Because Freestar doesn't seem to, right? That seems against their whole, like, ideology. Right? It must be... What's his name? Bayou. Okay. Oh, I didn't think such a business existed on this world. Indeed it does. And all it took was a dash of my own ingenuity to make it happen. Oh, you run all this. But that's a story for another time. So, can I book you a room for the night? I have a delivery. Red Harvest Reserve Whiskey for Nata Novadia. From his daughter. Wanna let me in on your little secret? About how you beat the system? Mind answering some questions about Neon? I need a room. Do you get a lot of tenants? I have a delivery. Oh, how nice. His daughter must be feeling very generous to be sending him something like that. Mr. Ovadia is in his room on the third floor. I'll buzz him and let him know you're on your way. Great. Okay. Oh, cool tree. Alright, choose floor. Third floor. Good. Oh, there's just one room on this entire third floor. <laughs> wow, okay, sure. I'm surprised you... <laughs> I feel like the elevator costs more to run. Maybe this is just like a high roller suite. Oh yeah, it must be. Look at this. Well, let's make this quick. Okay. Red Harvest Reserve, huh? I assume this is from my daughter. Well, she knows how to get my attention. So what then? You're working with her? She thinks this will be enough to smooth things over between us? Persuade. I'm here to talk to you about Rivka. The whiskey was just to get me in the door. Whatever. Look, I just came here to get you to leave her alone so she can get medical treatment. Attack! I'm just a simple delivery person here to ruin your life like you ruined Rivka's. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Wow. <laughs> uh, let's try and persuade him. Man, he really looks like, uh, oh God, what's his name? Fucking side character from Succession. You know what I'm talking about? I think he wore like a lot of turtlenecks. Uh, Kendall's friend, quote unquote. <laughs> Uh, Persuade, I'm here to talk to you about Rivka. Of course it was. Ah, I should have not been so blind. You have no idea what you're doing. You need to tell me where she is this instant. My own daughter assaults me in my own home, steals my personal spacecraft, then runs off to who knows where. 
Now you think a friendly little chat is going to smooth it all over and make things better? How foolish do you think I am? Well, you haven't heard how good I am at talking. Give red whiskey. Please accept the red whiskey. Rivka said it would mean a lot to you. This isn't what Belinda would have wanted, is it? I think we can come to an agreement, if you're willing to listen. Look, we have these two that are almost guaranteed to work. Or maybe the light blue means that it is a guarantee. Here's some whiskey. Hmm. My daughter knows me well. Maybe she is serious about this. Rivka's sick. She refuses to seek treatment because she's afraid of you finding her. She could die. This isn't what Belinda would have wanted, is it? Hmm. I know I caught you off guard. We can take our time if need be. Rivka's sick. She would really put her own life at risk due to me. She puts me in a difficult position. She needs to face consequences. Yet, I do not wish her to die. <laughs> yeah, I don't want her to die. <laughs> what a thing to say. This isn't what Belinda would have wanted, is it? Belinda? Oh, I miss her. No. You're right. She would be disgusted with who I've become. I've... I've been dishonoring her memory with my actions. Okay. Oh, God. Can we make this? <laughs> we don't have another guaranteed one. <gasps> All right. I think we can come to an agreement if you're willing to listen. I don't disagree there we with go. you. I suppose I've overreacted. She was young and while foolish, she is still my daughter. And Rivka is all I have left of my wife. I would do her a disservice to incriminate her daughter like that. I take it this means you'll forgive Rivka then. If you break your word, I will hunt you to the edge of the stars. How will you make up for how you treated her these past several years? How are you going to make it up? She told you about that. I'm not proud of it. I've wrestled with it ever since my wife died. I have been a terrible father. It will be up to Rivka how she wants me to make amends, and I will do whatever it takes. If she wants money, she'll get it. If she wants me to go to therapy, I will. Whatever it takes. I promise. Okay, well, I take it this means you'll forgive Rivka then? Yes. Tell her I will drop the charges immediately and call off the bounty hunters. And I suppose <laughs> I will seek her out to talk. I may just need a little time to figure out how to say what I need to say. Thank you. As they say, calling off the bounty hunters is usually the yeah. first step to a family reconciliation. Yeah. Good God, Andresia. This guy fucking sucks. <laughs> Alright. Oh, you want to talk? Okay. Sure, what's up? Let's talk this way. That way we can have some better lighting. Here, come in here. Come in here. Look, this guy's got a cool room. He's got a weird fish thing in the center. Maybe these are drug fish, too. I wanted to thank you for giving me the chance to work with you. I know we met under, um, unusual circumstances. You seem to be acclimating well to Constellation. Are you enjoying working with them? It's certainly not like anything I've done before. I'm starting to think I should have kept my day job. The pay isn't great, but the people are alright. It's not like anything I've done before. I've killed so many people. <laughs> I think none of us were expecting what we have found. Well, perhaps, Matteo, you have certainly become a vital part of the organization. That is a credit to your abilities. If I may, from what you have seen, do you think I fit in well with the rest of Constellation? Well, yeah, I mean, nobody fits in, which means that everybody fits in. If you're asking, I assume you feel like you don't. Fitting in is overrated. You're certainly very unique. Let's talk about this some other time. If you're asking, I assume you feel like you don't. No, I do not. But I find it hard to quantify. Many of the other members are polite, but distant. 
I worry that my background and my actions concern them. I have not shared much, but everyone knows I worked with smugglers for years. I am no stranger to violence and death. You don't seem to be bothered by your past. Accepting the unfamiliar can be hard for people. I'm sure you did what you had to. Sounds like fun. You don't seem to be bothered by your past. Why should I be? It was necessary for survival. Yeah. I would not be here otherwise. For those that have not lived it, it can be difficult to imagine or accept. Others here have seen conflict, but for more noble causes. Vladimir is the only one here who can begin to understand. He was the one who pressed the group to include me. I lack his charm. He puts others at ease. I fear my presence does the opposite. Yeah, I like Vladimir, and it's shocking to me that he is not also a follower, you know? Similar to Mateo. I mean, I guess he prefers to be kind of like hiding out. But the same could be said of Andresia, you know? Hmm. Charm isn't everything. You've had my back, and that's all that matters. Don't worry so much about what others think of you. Flirt. Trust me, you have a lot going for you. Have you tried telling more jokes? <laughs> Is this one I can just ask and we can continue on with the with a real choice? <laughs> Fuck it. Have you tried telling more jokes? Jokes do not come naturally to me. Not the way they do to others. If, if I try, it only makes things... Awkward. Hmm. Eh, you've had my back and that's all that matters. Of course. You have given me an opportunity the others have not. Perhaps I just need more time. I know this seems trivial. Uh, perhaps childish. I have just always relied only on myself. I have never been surrounded by people like this. By a group I... I wish to be a part of. Does that make sense? I've always been a loner myself. I don't think what you're saying is childish. People love me, so being included has never really been a problem. <laughs> what a horrible thing to say. You should really stop worrying about this. I don't think what you're saying is childish. It's normal. Thank you. That is reassuring. If anything, it's very Discussing adult of you to confront it. things is challenging for me. Yeah. I hope now you can better understand why I wanted to keep the circumstances of our meeting quiet. I wanted to thank you for not saying anything to Vladimir. You said you were considering it, and I appreciate that you decided against it. I do not wish to be seen as a source of violence and nothing else. It wasn't a big deal. And now you owe me one! It was clearly important to you that I not say anything. It was important to you. Indeed it was. And now I hope you can see why. Thank you for talking this over with me. It is good to know that at least one member of Constellation understands me. Hey, Vladimir too? Come on. Shit. Alright. I almost feel like she she potentially has a thing for Vladimir, you know? Oh god. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> this is a shape that evokes something in me. <laughs> Last few years have made this shape a very unfortunate one. <laughs> oh no! What a horrible plant. <laughs> oh dear god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, who who'd fucking designed these plants and put them in this game? <laughs> I can't think of anything else when I look at these. Oh dear lord. Alright. Let's do a hard save here so I can get a picture of this fucking asshole for the thumbnail. <laughs> What's up, you have anything I else? I deserve it, but I hope Rivka will forgive me. Yeah, dude, you're fucking wild. You put her on a bounty hunter list. 
You're almost as wild as your weird little kitchen. What is this? What kind of hotel is this? The ki the whole kitchen area? They have a kitchen area, but it's like in a closet. <laughs> okay, over here. And look at the bathroom. <laughs> Jesus, what what is all? Who decided these rooms should be like this? I feel like they ought to be swapsied. All right. Anything else good in here? Got your little luggage bag. Your horrifying plants. Chandra Malbec. Water cooler. <laughs> okay. Sure. Let's get on out of here. Back to the lobby. Should we go to the second floor? Fuck it, let's see. Let's see, is there anything good on the second floor here? What's up here? Oh, it's locked. I need a key. Oh, that's definitely for a quest. This floor also. <laughs> Single room. <laughs> okay. Back to the lobby. Good, good, good. You know, it's just like their past works, right? Welcome the single room brother, floor, it's terrible. just a representation. You're meant to imagine the entire rest of the floor. <laughs> uh, you know what? Yeah, let's ask you about some of your other shit. You it's had nice so to much to say. Today. Hey, I went up there and I delivered that uh, whiskey, by the way. We had a great talk. Tell me your secret. <laughs> Will you tell me your secret? Maybe after you've rented a room for a few nights, I might let you in on my secret. <gasps> for now, it'll just have to remain a mystery. Oh, what? Sorry. Is there a secret rent a room quest here? To see if I can trust you. I'm sure you understand. What? Something's gonna happen if I rent a room, huh? All right, mind answering some questions about Neon? You mean the stuff Bayou leaves out of the brochures? <laughs> Don't mind at all. Yep, okay. <laughs> Very cavalier about it. Yeah, don't mind at all. <laughs> Could you describe the layout of Neon's districts? Neon has four main districts. The ones where Bayou wants you to spend your credits are Bayou Plaza and Ikuchi Market. Those are the glitzy parts of town. Bayou Plaza is the section outside my doors from the Trade Tower to the Spaceport. Ikuchi Market runs from the Starport Terminal to Ryujin Tower. Not quite as glamorous as the plaza, but still expensive. Then, there's Upside, running the perimeter of the upper platform. Probably not the best spot for tourists. Finally, you have the Underbelly, the working class's domain under our feet. Not much down there, but industry and a few random shops. Uh, we haven't been there yet. What's the deal with the Trade Tower? Oh, you noticed that little thing? Yeah, that's Bayou's crown jewel. First of all, you have the Astral Lounge, flowing with Aurora, attracting every tourist within light years of Oli. Then you have exorbitantly priced offices for every mega Whoa, exorbitantly region, spelled with an H? With Xenofresh Fisheries square at the top. Is that a typo? Is like that real? Top of his ego Sunday, Bayou's got his private penthouse. I don't even want to think about what goes on up there. I met him, you know. He was he was at the Astral Lounge. Should I avoid Ebside? No, I don't think so. Ebside's filled with a few decent clubs like Madame Salvage's Place and Euphorica. You should check them out. Just watch your back. It's gang territory, which means Neon Security tends to ignore what goes on in there. Right. Yeah, didn't we kill that dude in... <laughs> we killed Warlord? <laughs> Fucking warlord. Is it worth exploring the underbelly? Most of the underbelly is taken up by Xenofresh and Jennerdyne's facilities. Jennerdyne. But there are a few hidden gems you might want to check out. Actually, I'd recommend checking out Offworld Eats. Cosmos and Lee run that place. They're a couple of great guys. Oh my gosh. Well, thank you. Five hidden gems at Neon's underbelly you didn't know about. That's all I wanted to ask for now. <laughs> Sounds good. Let me know if you need anything else. <laughs> Five hidden gems. <laughs> Sorry. Do you get a lot of tenants? To tell you the truth, not really. 
And that's one of the consequences with the arrangement between Administrator Bayou and myself. Oh, that you're supposed to go out of business? You won't hassle me, but there's nothing I can do about my guests being hassled. The last tenant I had was arrested for spitting on the street. As you can imagine, business is not exactly booming. Luckily, I have more than enough capital to cover my expenses, but it still sucks. I mean, obviously you shouldn't be arrested for such a thing, but what what the fuck? They were spitting on the street? <laughs> what? I can see if like, yeah, they were sick. They got sick on the street, but they were just spitting on the street. They were just hawking shit up. <laughs> that is a little fucking weird and rude. <laughs> I mean, obviously you shouldn't be arrested for it. I need a room, by the way, you know, you know, I want, I want a room. Because I want the secret. I want the secret. I need a room. I have one all set and ready to go. Oh, is it on the, the, the one Are that I know of on, on the second floor? Day or just one night? How many nights do I it's need to get okay. the secret? Take your time. I want one week. That's great. I know you'll enjoy your stay here. Thank you. It was grayed out, too. Just, I guess, because we had gotten the other one? Oh god, I almost thought she was about to show me to my room, Skyrim style. <laughs> okay, sure. Oh wow, look, they have the luggage cart dolly things. Oh my gosh. Holy shit, if you've ever been to an airport, these things end up being everywhere. Right. Well, I suppose when next we come back, we will rest here and see if anything happens, and then we'll at least find out the little secret, right? A little secret. And then we've got at least one order of business still to tend to on Neon. We've got the shit at Stroud Eckland, I believe. And then we also have that one package that we need to kind of fly out Welcome further to get. To the There's a bunch of shit going on. All right. However, if you'd like to stick around, we will be doing a little bit of reading. Let's see here. How about we read... Oh, the Count of Monte Cristo. Why not? Okay. Oh, it is sorted with the... Do I still have it? There we go. Yeah. Count of Monte Cristo. On the 24th of February, 1815, the lookout at Notre Dame de la Garde signaled the three master, the... F Feyren from Smyrna, Trist, Trist, and Naples. As usual, a pilot put off immediately, and rounding the Chateau Dilf, or Dif, got on board the vessel between Cape Morjou and Rion Island. Immediately, and according to custom, the ramparts of Fort Saint Jean or Saint Jean were covered with spectators. It is always an event at Marse Marseille for a ship to come to into port, especially when this ship, like the Faerun, has been built, rigged, and laden at the old Fossi docks and belongs to an owner of the city. Thus begins Alexander Dumas's literary classic, which tells the story of Edmond Dantes, or Dantes, and his exquisite revenge against the man who so deeply wronged him. Wow. Okay. Neat. Very textured book. My god, look at that. Holy shit. Okay. Great. Well, when next we come back, like I said, more stuff to do back around the end. Look at this. We're finally getting back into the tune of uh, regular video links as they should be. <laughs> All right, until next time, please take care of each other.